Hello guys, um, I want to talk about support and resistance. You know your support and resistance, a place of price rejection, any place that price rejected, first one, second one, upwards, okay? You can name it as a place of support and resistance. And to talk about a few methods, you can draw your support and resistance. Remember, support and resistance is very, very important as a trader. You can't do without it. X, you will see your profit going down. Okay, so the first method I would like us to discuss is I'm using horizontal line to draw a support and resistance. So now let's try to see if we can identify a place of support and resistance. Um, we can still use the current market situation. Looking at this place, I think we have a support and resistance. There is so there is price rejection in this region. Okay, starting from here, it started there, but it broke. And it started forming here. So now let's try and see if we can draw it with our. I'm seeing a thread setup here also. I'm seeing a thread setup. Let me see if I can enter some threads. Okay. Okay. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. Uh, let me enter like 10 threads. Let me enter like 10 threads. Okay. So I've entered them. So now, if we're talking about it, let's draw it with a horizontal line. Um, If I'm drawing with a horizontal line, we'll draw with this. Okay. Now look at this. There is a price suggestion here here and here the price tested here go up down up down and it's up again now so here we have a support here then the upper side we have a resistance okay so we have a support and a resistance so now if you watch very well you see that the market is ranging between here here and here the market is testing broke the market broke the resistance the support and the support turns to resistance it's go back it touch the support it's go back again to the resistance come back to the support back to the resistance back to the support so this is a ranging market okay guys this is a ranging market so if you can identify your support and resistance when the market was making these moves Believe me, you'll be cutting some profits by following it. Okay, so now another method. Okay, let's see if we can see another one. Let's see if I can see another one. Let's see if we can see another one in a range market. Okay, no, this is not a range. Okay, okay. Remember, you have to zoom in your charts, zoom in your charts to the list. Okay, so here is another, here is another support. This was this was a support. This was this is its first one, second test, third one. Okay, the market tested there. It goes up. It came back. I tested. It goes up. It came back. I tested. It goes up again. And if you look very well, there is a pattern that is formed here. We'll talk about that later. Okay. So this is a support here. So let's see if we can see another one. But remember, this is not a range market. Okay. This is not a range market. Market trend. This is range. Okay. So let's try and see if we can find another one. Another place of... Okay, let's see if we can get a resistant area. Okay, we have one resistant here. So look at this. We have this. Um, we have this here. Here, here, and here. The market tested the resistance three times. Okay, so if the market tests first one and you watch it came back, it tested again. 
and it bounced back. You should be able to know that this is a place of resistance. Okay, there is something that is rejecting price here. Yeah. The buyers and the sellers, the, 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 the sellers rejected the price. Okay, so that's that. That's that. So another method I want us to talk about, another method I want us to talk about is um using um vertical, yeah, using trend line, using trend line. Let me know your line, okay? So if you are using trend line, support and your resistance. So let's identify a trend. Well, I've seen one, a ranging trend. Okay, so this is your trend line. This is what is called trend line. Okay, so if we're applying it, we'll have this. I thought I came with this guy. Okay, we'll have this. This is a trend line. We'll have another one. We have another trend line and this second trend line that will this this second trend line will be as the resistance okay that is what it looks like if you watch it's not the market is not moving as ranging market in horizontal the market is moving in trend line okay look at how the market is moving market is going this way this way this way okay so in that situation you don't have to use your horizontal line now let me show you what happens if you use horizontal line let's assume that you use a horizontal line here look at this you are missing some you miss here miss here miss here miss here miss here you got here and here and here but you miss here, you miss here, you miss here. And you'll be here waiting for the market to retest. The market has already tested its support and go back. Tested its support and go back. And you'll be busy waiting for it to come down to this point. And it will not come down. So when you identify such a market, always try to know the type of support and resistance that you are having. Okay? So let's look at another one. Let's look out for another one. Uh, let's look out for another one. Arranging markets. Um, 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 um. I'm looking for a good one. I'm seeing so many of them, but I'm looking for a good one. A good one, a good one. Okay. This can still serve. This can still serve. We have this and we we'll have this okay so at this place the market touch here come down go up again goes down so this is the ranging market so use your trend line so what you have to do is that um, anytime the market is not ranging in a block format anytime the market is not ranging in a block format hmm? don't use horizontal line okay but anytime the market is ranging in a block format you use horizontal line anytime the market is ranging in a trend line okay you use your trend line for it to draw your support and resistant hope um, I'm clear guys hope I'm clear hope I'm clear um, you must you must know how to draw support and resistance very well you must try to like work on it know how to do it if you want to succeed as as, as a trader okay it's very very important how to do it okay guys so um, I will leave you here so that if you have some questions you can ask your questions okay Thank you.